Today we're going to show you how to set up Cosmos DB. We can do that if you have an Azure subscription, but if you don't have an Azure subscription, no problem. You can set it up for free without any sub required for seven days. Lastly, I'm going to show you a free downloadable emulator that allows you to run Cosmos DB right on your own computer. So let's get started. Okay, starting out, we are going to look at how to get Azure Cosmos DB if you don't have an Azure subscription. This is great because you can get it for seven days free and you don't have to set up a subscription. So this is the URL. I'll post this in the notes. And at this point, you're going to make a choice. What type of model do you want your database to be set up as? And I would suggest going with SQL, unless you already have an application that's written against a Mongo database, a table API, a table storage, or graph. That's great because you can uh, migrate the data over and not change your, your code other than the connection string. But if you're starting from scratch, pick SQL. So let's go ahead and click the Create button. And it's going to prompt you to log in. So we'll go ahead and log in. OK, so I've logged in. If you didn't have an account, go ahead and set one up. But as you can see here, I'm off and running. It tells me my Cosmos DB account will expire in 167 hours and 58 minutes. So at this point, we're ready to get started. So the way we do that is click right here, open in the Azure portal. So it's gonna land you on this page here. And uh, what you're gonna do, which probably makes most sense to start out with, is create a collection. Uh, think of a collection, that that's where you're gonna store your data. You have databases that have collections within them, and this one's going to create a collection called items. So we'll click on that. Okay, so we've added that collection. Two ways to get there. You could just click the Open Data Explorer here, but so you start getting used to the menus here. Let me shrink this down so we can see a little better. Let's go to our Data Explorer. Now, don't forget where we're at right here. This quick start is great. If you wanted to start uh, hitting it with an, an actual application, you can click here, for example. And uh, we have a .NET app, a shell app, uh, ready to go that you can download as well as Xamarin or Java, etc. So, but for right now, let's just open up Data Explorer. And so we have a database and a collection. Here's our database to-do list and a collection called items. Now, nothing's in this yet. We can tell that by clicking documents. So let's go ahead and upload a document. Click the upload document here. And I'm gonna put this, uh, the structure of this JSON document in the notes of this video. Oh, uh, just click the upload button here. And then that says that one document has been created with zero errors. So we'll go ahead and hit this refresh here. Now we have a document within our collection. If we click that, we can see the body of the document. And then if you want to start querying this, just click the new query SQL query, uh, the new SQL query button up here. Now uh, I'm going to show you another way to kind of get uh, familiar with uh, the way to, to query these JSON documents. Another thing I wanted to show you here was the scale and settings by default it gave you uh, 400 request units. This is a free account, but you can go ahead and bump that up. That's what's great. You can really run uh, Cosmos DB through its paces by bumping that up and then hitting save. All right, so that is how to set it up if you don't have any Azure subscription at all. Um, let's go to my Azure portal. And if I was going to create one in something that in a subscription or I already had, just click the create a resource and it's going to take you up to what we call the Azure marketplace. Click databases here. And then right here we have Azure Cosmos DB. So click that item and it really only requires a few fields. Okay. We're going to fill in a few fields. This ID has to be unique. So let's call it Kirby's Cosmos. Then you should get a uh, name's not available. I must have set one up already. So I'll call it Kirby Cosmos 7. Here's where you pick the API, similar to when we set up our free one. You'll pick what a data model you want here. We're going to go ahead and pick SQL. Uh, make sure you have the, the right uh, subscription here. And then resource group, uh, you can use an existing one, create a new one, no problem there. And then pick the location that you want your Azure Cosmos DB. 
and of course pick if you want Rio, uh, geo redundancy or not. At this point you're not prompted for how large, how many request units it's going to be. You do that when you set up the database or the collections. Okay, a third way to get started with Cosmos DB is to download an emulator that runs on your local computer. So I'll put this URL in the video notes, scroll down to installation, and click the Microsoft Download Center. Go ahead and run that. Agree to the terms, and once again, this does not cost any money. And then launch. Okay, so this screen will come up in your browser, and this is a quick start, looks pretty similar to what we saw in Azure. Uh, you can download sample apps to get started. But let's go ahead and go to the Data Explorer here. This is our database called SQL API. We'll click, uh, in fact, what makes more sense is to click this ellipsis here, and you can either delete the database or create a new collection, which we'd like to do. And then give it a name. And we'll just call it Kirby's Test uh, Collection. And this is kind of mimicking what it would look like in Azure if you wanted unlimited capacity versus a fixed uh, 10 gigabytes. And then also the throughput. Uh, you can go as low as 400. Obviously, this is just mimicking the way you would see it in Azure. But if you wanted to save money just for testing, you would start at 400. Um, but of course here, since it's local, you're not really paying for this, so you can do as much throughput as you'd like, up to 10,000. So click OK. And then there is our collection. Obviously, we don't have any documents in it yet. So just like we did with Azure, we could go ahead and pull in a JSON document um, like we did the last time. So the last thing I wanted to show you is a Azure Cosmos DB Query Playground. This is a great place to get experience with uh, learning how the SQL works with Cosmos DB and you don't need to install anything you just go out to this link and then you can pick uh, what you might want to do like here is a simple query uh, you run it and then it'll give you the results and after you run it like this looks pretty uh, a simple SQL but then it, it, it gives you a challenge you know try you know looking at the doc you can click here to see what the document actually looks like it's going to give a challenge on you know try this type of query and if you want to see the answer, just click Show Answer, and then you can run it. Um, you could do uh, joins. This is different than a relational database. Uh, you're actually doing an intra-document join, and that's going to show you how to do that. You'll run it, then it'll give you a challenge. Uh, you know, try this, and then you can show that answer. You can do geospatial. Um, so this is a great place just to get your feet wet uh, running SQL, learning how that works against Cosmos DB. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching.